It's time for the MLS Cup playoffs. Do we care about it? We already won it last year. Yes, we do. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to Toronto FC in MLS. This is Red Redemption. My name is John and we are at the Supporter Shield screen because we have won the MLS Supporter Shield in the season 2021. Congratulations to the team. I thank you for all your efforts. We lost the Canadian Championship in the previous episode, but we got the Supporter Shield done. So in the last few games of the season, we kind of won out at the end after playing Montreal. 1-0 victory uh, at home to Portland, 3-2 over Cincinnati, and then 2-0 over Orlando City. And we've got the Philadelphia Union in the Eastern Conference semifinals. So we've had a bye in the first round, and now we're playing the winner of the first round in Philadelphia in the semis, in the Eastern Conference semis. So looking back, Portland game, 1-0 victory. Sean Hundell gets our goal right here. Let's just have a look at that. There we go here. So Akinola with a nice ball forward. Boys guard brings it down. Hundall with basically a double shot, kind of a tap in. Just landed fortunately for him. And that sealed the victory against the Portland Timbers. In the next game, Cincinnati 3-2. This one was closer. Pretty even game overall. Petrazzo Patan, Nick Patan, who I just offered a new contract, was thinking about letting him go, but still decent potential for Nick Patan. Man of the match, Brian Miller. And 3-2 uh, victory in this one. We squeaked it out for the last half an hour or so and got the victory. There we go. Free kick from Miller. Ball in. Petrazzo heads at the far post. Puts us up 1-0. Uh, then Cincinnati gets the equalizer right here. Espria beats his man. Adi was there. Lethal Adi for the FC Cincinnati. He's got a lot of goals for them this year. And then uh, for us, Frazier and Del Piore passing around. Darting forward. Nice ball forward. Patton finishes near post. Nice little finish there from Nick Patton. I think it was his second goal of the season. And then uh, Cincinnati again with the goal here. Nice volley from Espria. 2-2, and then this one's the winner. Lots of rain coming down in this one, too. Brian Miller dribbling inside to Akinola, who finishes nicely. 3-2 victory for us. I think that's when we sealed the supporter shield in that game because we we won it by 12 points. The next the next team was 12 points behind us in, in the standings. So, And this was the final 2-0 victory against Orlando City, Brisbane Deed and Boys Guard. Boys, or Brisbane Deed with the man of the match. Uh, in this one, and pretty good, I must say, to finish the season. Three straight. Can we carry the form going into the playoffs? That's a question mark. But uh, Auro with the ball here. Del Priori with the ball into the box. Boys guard battling, but Brizendine hits a beautiful volley there. 1-0. And then Brizendine forward again to Patton. Patton with the ball inside to Boysgard, who darts in, finishes near post, 2-0. And that was the final. That was on 91 minutes. So good stuff. Three straight to finish the season. We're going into the Philadelphia game here. Uh, Injury-wise, we're pretty healthy as well. It's just Gonzalez. Reynolds has a knock also, so he'll be out for this, but we don't really start him anyways. Patton just recently came back, but he's on the bench, I believe. Going into this match. Yes, he is. Um, and that's pretty much our line. We got a full strength team. Minus, of course, Betty Laris, who left us in the last episode. But uh, we'll get into the Philadelphia match now. We're going to play through the entire playoffs in this episode. So this may either, either be really short or really long. So we'll see what happens, I guess. Here we go. Into the match. Pozuelo. I think he's just back from injury, too. Pozuelo. So here's our starting lineup. Sean Hundall up top with Quentin Boysgard. Luis Brizendine, Jonathan Osorio behind him. Alejandro Pozuelo and Machis Del Piori in the middle with Patrick Bray, Luke Wolfenden, Rafael Thier, Aro, and Alex Bono in net. And Philadelphia, Persbilko, 
these are top goal scorers, 17 goals. And they've got Marco Fabian. We've got to keep an eye on Leggett. We might keep need to keep an eye on as well. Uh, I don't know. Their captain is a keeper, Blake, who's a decent keeper. Pretty good team, Philadelphia. It's drizzling outside today, so we're going to challenge these guys. Pick up where you left off last time out. We'll get into the tunnel interview. There's a 20-day gap. There was an international break in between this game and the last for us, and we missed the first round of the playoffs. So 20 days without a match. We're going to have to be focused. I hope the training went well. It should have gone well, but you never know. Long layoff. But it's worked well for us in the past, I think. And we kick off. Philadelphia starts here. Lots of rain coming down at BMO today. I'm pretty sure. I think we're at home. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're at home. BMO Field. Here we go. We're kicking off Blake with the goal kick. Azorio nods it down for Hundal. Can he make a difference here? I'd like to see him get some more consistent form going forward, Hundal. He's started well so far, being the being the starting striker. Oh, and Wolfenden has cocked it up there to Brisbilko, who shoots wide. Lucky there for us. We go again. Corner kick to Philadelphia. Fabian with the corner. Ooh, a falter there for the tap-in. Bono looked like he punched it right back to him there. And we are down already. Four shots to zero for Philadelphia. Down 1-0 in seven minutes. Not so good. Maybe the rust is starting to show a little bit. Bit of not much you can do about that one. Bono just saved it, but it went right into a Volter's path and he was there for a tap it. Corner kick again. Fibion. Oh, Parker is there. Oh, another set piece blunder. Two nil down now. Alright, something's gotta change. What is going on? We don't want to get knocked out right away. What's going on here? Hmm. I don't know. We're doing everything. Yeah, maybe I'm just going to do a shout. Let's do a shout. We got to demand more. Where was the defending there? Just leaving him unmarked. Let the ball drop in the box. You don't deal with it. What was that? Unbelievable. Come on, guys. Come on. Don't go out with a whimper. Down 2 0, not even 15 minutes in. Here comes Azorio. Cutting the byline, he crosses. Oh, he's a header from Boys Guard, but Blake is there. That's what we should have been doing from the from the off. Philadelphia is still dominating shots right now. Seven to one. Throw in here for Arrow. Brizendeen. Arrow again. Cuts it back. Come on, you guys gotta put it into the box. Get into some penetrative areas here. We're just dilly dallying it around. It'll Poor ball there from Del, Pri Del Priori. Gets it to leg it, and Prisbilko's away again. Ooh, good save by Bono. That's another corner. We have to defend this corner. Could not allow another nonsense. So he's out for a throw now. Kicked it straight at Pozuelo. Free kick. Another dangerous set piece. Wolfenden clears. Parker picks it up. Back inside, and we get the ball back. Prison even a nice interception. We're going forward again. Osorio. Ball to Boysguard. Hitting on the counter. Boysguard to Osorio. Can he get a shot away? He can. Blake is there. Oh, Boysguard on side netting. That was, uh, that was a good chance. We should have scored. Alex Silva now. Dangerous for Philadelphia. Good tackle. Boysguard picks up. Going back the other, the other way. He's still going. Taking on the defender. Ooh, he beats him into the box. Again, another one. Osorio, <laughs> the poor header. You've got to finish that chance. Come on. Unbelievable, man. A lot of pressure on Hundal now to score goals. We're down 2-0 in the playoffs. Patrick Bray inside to Boys Guard. Pozuelo. Brizendine. Ooh. Good attempt, but just over. Here we go again. Osorio knocks it down. Inside the... Oh, blocked. Back to Aro. Hundal header. Back to Osorio. Hundal off the post. Another post. He always hits the post. Man. He's very frustrated. Ah, what a poor half so far. 
Can we get one before halftime? We just that would change it a little bit here. You'd have more of a chance going in, and he boots it over Brizendeed again. 38, 39, 40. Come on. Free kick from Fabian to the open man who's unbelievable. He's got to be offside. Come on. He is offside. Lucky. What is with our set pieces today? We just left him unmarked. And that's Pozuelo, I think. Like, yeah. I'm going to look at the set piece instructions after this. Parker with the ball forward. Aro picks that up. Going to go back the other way. Del Priore to Brizendine. Out to Azorio. Del Priore. Ball forward to Aro. Into the box. Oh, and he's fouled, and that's a penalty. It's got to be a penalty. And this might put us back into the game here. If Pozuelo can score. He's been great on penalties all season. Can you put us back into it? 2-1. Come on. And he does. 2-1. And we're back in the game, thank God. Just before halftime, but the team will get a screamed at in the dressing room by me. Absolutely. But thank God we got that goal. That'll give us get us back in the game with a shout. Aro with the throw. Brizendine knocks it down. Aro again. Trying to get in for a cross. But it's back to Brizendine who crosses. Hundal is there, but he can't redirect the header. Oh, man. 2-1 at halftime. We're finally winning the shots. We're winning the possession, so we're starting to play better. But we got to go into the dressing room and just give these guys an actual... You've got to do better. What is going on? What is going on? Not happy. Not happy. And not happy. There. That's better. All right. So, Wolfenden is, n or is that Tier or Wolf? It's Tier who is not playing very well today. They've all got to be better. I don't think I want to change anything really. This is our strongest side. We've got to be better. Oh, one thing I do want to check is the set piece instructions. Okay, where's our routines? Free kicks. Defensive free kick. It's more the corners. Defensive corners. Zonal marking. Zonal marking, zonal marking. Mark near post. Hmm. I think I'm going to change this one to man mark. And Zorio's there. Wolfenden needs to man mark too. I think that'll be fine. And then the other side also. Did this one? Yeah. Man mark. Matthias. Man mark also. Yeah. Confirm those and play. All right. Bray into Pozuelo and Wolfenden starts again. Free kick here for TFC. Azorio whips it in. There he is, Tier, to tie it up. 2 2. And we are back in the game. We're level. Do we even have a second leg? I'm not sure if this is first leg or second leg or what the deal is. Um, Tier was there and it's 2 2. All right, Philadelphia attacking here, but nice tackle there from Pozuelo. We get the ball back again. This is basically nil-nil now. We can we can not relax, but feel normal. We should be in control of this game, and we've been playing better than them for the most part. So playing it out of the back, doing our thing. Osorio is there. Back inside to Del Priore. 
Back to Pozuelo, to Brizendine. Ball back again, slowly building up. Come on, boys, let's get some attacks going here. I'd like to take the lead, please, if possible. Aro attacking nicely here. He shoots. Weak shot, really. Blake collects. All right, Patrick Bray now. Free kick. Ball forward to Hundal, who's there. Still has it, but he goes back for some reason. He should have shot. Out to or Aro. That was a poor decision by Hundal. And then we, they clear. Del Priora, though, is there. And he goes back. Now, aren't we on positive? Aren't we positively trying to score at the moment? Come on, guys. Pozuelo. It is teeming rain right now. Ball in again. Brizendine's there, and it's over. Slippery surfaces. Ball bobbling, probably. So throw in here. Aro throws into Osorio. Back to Aro. Back to Del Priore. Inside to Osorio again. Oh, he loses out. And Philadelphia counter, but they give the ball away. We try again. Del Priore. Osorio. Back to Pozuelo. Brizendine. Into boys guard now. Come on, boys. Let's get a shot away here. Blocked. Good defending as well from Philadelphia. I can tell. I don't know if we need to work it in the box so much. That might be a, an instruction to take off. I know that we're doing that. And I'll be a little bit more expressive. Boys guard. Ball in, but Philadelphia clear. Clearing again, but only as far as the halfway line. Del Priori is going to pick that up and go back in again to the Philadelphia half. We're going to slowly build again. We might need to go a little bit more direct. Wolfenden back to the keeper. What is this negative play that's going on here? It's really strange. We don't normally play this conservatively. I guess it's the playoffs. But still. Aro. Azorio with the cross. Into Hundal. Couldn't do much with it. Aro again. He gets inside. He shoots and Blake saves. And that's a corner. Corner in. Azorio. Hundal tries to head it down, but nothing is there. Del Priore again. Inside to Tier. Tier back to Osorio again. Brizendine. Come on, boys. Let's do something. They're just protecting possession. Not really attack in the box. I'm not seeing much of a gap to exploit. Maybe Pozuelo needs to be higher up the pitch a little bit, but I don't want to give up too much on the counter. Although they are committing men back rather than forward. That might be something to adjust. If I can switch uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Pozuelo to an advanced playmaker on attack. That might be an interesting strategy. Corner again, Azorio. Parker clears. Brizendine picks it up, back in. Azorio again, tries a cross and another block. Just playing for set pieces, it seems. I don't know if it's working at the moment. Ball in again. Del Priori picks it up. Back to Tier. Aro. Ball in. Boys guard picks it up on the left, but he gives it away to Alex Silva. And Ely and Silva play it back and forth and try to break out of their own half. Leggett is there now. Leggett driving forward. Patrick Bray's there, and he gets the tackle in. Wins the ball, and we go back again the other way. Brizendine to Boys guard. He's running at him now. Boys guard through the middle and shoots and scores. Amazing goal. 3-2. And we take the lead on 70 minutes. What a goal from Boys guard. Cutting inside, driving through pretty much from half and firing it at the top of the area. Amazing. Look at this. He picks it up, drives through the midfield, takes on the defense and just hits it. Top corner. Scores a screamer. 3-2 TFC. And we're looking good now. 74 minutes gone. Free kick Azorio. Bobbled by Blake. And they don't quite clear. Azorio picks it up, but it's out for a throw. 
amazing stuff. All right, let's look at the team condition wise. Zorio's the he's the man of the match. He's got the least condition. I think I'm gonna leave it for now. We'll just get back into the game for a few more minutes. Ooh, Bono picks up that clearance. It's 3-2 still. 77 minutes. Don't think I'm going to change the strategy just yet. A little bit too early. Nice play through the middle to try and break out of our own end. TFC, we're cutting forward. Still building. Aro now. Gets around the defense. Oh, a little bit. He does beat a man eventually. Zorio shoots and scores from distance, and it's 4-2. And it looks like we're going to put this one away. We're, we're starting to dominate the shots a little bit too much for Philadelphia in the end. I thought we were going to lose it going down 2-0, but we've come back superbly. And we, we haven't even made any substitutions yet. But a 4-2 lead. Hundal hasn't had much success up top in this game, but... He's still young. Let, maybe let's try Nick Paton here. Give him a little bit of game time. All right, time ticked away completely. And we're going to take off Azorio and bring on Akinola and make our final substitution. I think it'll be Pozuelo for Lorea in the middle to finish it off. Final four minutes. And this looks like it will be it. Ball into the box, cleared. Akinola picks it up. He might get a shot away. Crosses inside, clearance by Philly. Del Priore has it. Back to Bray, and that's the end. And we've done it. 4-2 victory over Philadelphia. Very nice, very nice. I guess there's no two legs. We are through to the Eastern Conference Finals now. So another game in this episode. We, we're not dead yet. All right, we appreciate their efforts. Very nice. We've done brilliantly to come back. That was a nice victory. It's kind of amazing that we even got out of that. I thought we were done for 2-0. Because it was pretty early in the game at that point. But Yeah, nervy playoffs. We've got Atlanta in the Eastern Conference Final, which will be a very interesting game. Um, Yarbrough... Great goal goalkeeper, one of the best in the league. Always got to watch out for the Martinez's with Atlanta. They've got pretty much the same team as they've been playing with the last two seasons, I think. And we've, we've got a pretty good record against them. So we definitely have a chance. Azorio gets man of the match. Tier, oh, he liked my pep talk at halftime. Inspired them to victory. John Herdman, I want that Canada job. If that Canada job comes up, I'm going to take it. It'll be nice to do in this series. But it looks like John Herman's doing too well with Canada. They're top of their World Cup qualifying group and everything. So that is very good. We'll get into this press conference and uh, we'll get into the next game because we've got to squeeze a lot of games in this episode potentially. So we'll see you then. And we broke our record number of wins again. We've got 25 matches this season. New record for us. Oh, it's a new Major League Soccer record. So we've broken the league record for wins in a season. That's really good. Good stuff indeed. All right, player of the week for Osorio. Good week from him, I guess, with that screamer he scored. So another award. We've got a few players in the Team of the Year awards that are coming up soon. So we'll probably see that after the playoffs. So I'm interested to see if we actually get any of those. Look at that Team of the Week. Four players in there. More than anybody else. Minnesota's got a few. Uh, Medran for San Jose. Hagland. He used to play for T TFC back in the day. Yarbrough. The man. In goal. All right. Nick Nathan Patton has signed his new contract. So he's in with us till 2024 now. Bit of potential on him. So I just decided to give him a new three-year deal. He's got a little bit of potential we can try to exploit. He needs more playing time, though. He's 19. Uh, we'll see how well he develops. He's Canadian, too, which will help a lot for the Canadian Championship. So I'm happy to have him. All right, we're ready for the Eastern Conference Final against Atlanta United. We have Ayo Akinola starting today up top. I'm going to play him as a false nine. And then I'm putting Luis Brizendine on attack to see how that works out. So 
Fingers crossed that works out. We've got Quentin Boysgard on the left, Luis Brizendine in be- behind Akinola, uh, uh, Jonathan Rosario on the right, Alejandro Pozuelo and Matias Del Piore in the middle, of course, with Patrick Bray, Luke Wolfenden, Rafael Tierra, and Auro on defense with Alex Bono in net. We are watching out for the Martinez's in this one. And also, I think that's it. So we'll go with that. Okay. We're going to challenge them again. Go exactly as you left off in the last game. What are you going to ask me today? We could book a spot in the MLS Cup final with a win here. Are you confident? Yes, I'm going to say we're totally confident. In the absence of Chris Mavinga. Chris Mavinga just got a hip injury. He's out three months. He's done for the playoffs. So we sent him to a specialist. It's tough that we're without him, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Um, are you hopeful that Osorio carries his recent good form into this match? Yeah, we're kind of, we want to see him keep up his good form. We've got another sellout at BMO Field. Atlanta United, we've had a good record against Atlanta in the last few meetings, so we want to keep that going. It's still raining in Toronto. We just have terrible weather. What is this? It's October, November. Yeah, it's not great weather in Toronto at that time of year. But we are building from the back, doing our thing. Good start so far. Azoria with a corner. Whipped in. Headed away. Gonzalez picks it up. Azorio again. Inside to Brizendine. The ball. Ooh, good shot. And Yarbrough tips it wide. It was a weird save. But we get a corner out of it again. Azorio. On the corner. Puts the ball in. Headed away again by Atlanta. Tierre intercepts. Azorio back. Was he offside? I think he was. Azorio was offside. Going to set some team instructions here. Or not team instructions. Player opposition instructions. We want to mark Mr. Josep. And close down Mr. Gonzalez. Show him onto his weaker foot. I think that just the two. Danger men. Boys guard with a free kick here. Good position, but it's blocked by the wall. That's up for a throw. Throw in Atlanta. Bello to Alvarez. Good tackle by Auro, though. We win the ball back. Del Piore. Good cross there from Brizendine. Boys guard's going to pick it up. He might lose. No, he wins it. Inside to Brizendine, who shoots a weak shot into Yarbrough. He should have hammered that. Throw in again. Auro. Brizendine knocks it down. Del Priori. All the way back to defense. Tier. Down the line. Auro. Going back inside. Trying to find some space. Good pressing and closing down by Atlanta so far. Ooh, good ball out wide to Auro. We can get inside a bit. Gets it deep. And he. Is he fouled? Looks like he's fouled. Var. It's a penalty. Pozuelo steps up our talisman on penalties. He's been pretty much player of the year this year. He might get MVP also when he scores. Alejandro Pozuelo makes it 1-0 for TFC. I was just saying he is in the vote for MVP of the season in MLS, and I hope he gets it. Puts another penalty away. He's lethal on penalties. And we're 1-0 up. Atlanta kickoff. Lasso to Glad. We're going to try and make something happen for Atlanta United, but looks tough for them here, away from home at BMO. Headed down by Tier. Osorio. Oh, he loses out to Latif, who gets on his horse. He's threatening now. He's got four men to beat, though. Osorio is there. Tries to defend, and it's cleared by Aro. And attacking again, Aro nearly loses the ball. Back to the midfield. Pozuelo picks it up. Inside to Boys guard. Patrick Bray. Ooh, good through ball for Brizendine. And a good save by Yarbrough. But that's a corner. And Azorio should take that. Steps up. Ball in. Ooh, good header by Akinola, but it's over. Throwing from Atlanta. Gonzalez Perez to Latif. Getting in for a cross. Martinez is there, but it's blocked. Gonzalo. Back to Gonzalez Perez. Ball across again. Cleared by Auro. Azorio tries to clear. Gressel picks it up. Atlanta attack again. Gressel. 
throw in Atlanta. Gonzalez Perez, Nagby to Glad. All the way back to the keeper. And we're getting close to halftime here. Lasso with the ball forward, Alvarez. Cutting inside the number nine. Intercepted by Bray, though. And that's cleared all the way down. And that might be halftime coming up here. Just waiting for the ref to blow the whistle while Atlanta pass it around. The goalkeeper clears, knocks it down for Latif. Still giving them time here. Alvarez inside of Martinez and we clear. It's gotta be halftime. There we go. One nil, halftime, 10 to in shots for us. It's 50-50 possession wise. Uh, not a bad performance, I must say. I think we're doing well. We're happy, happy with the performance. Uh, everyone's okay condition-wise. Everyone's okay on the ratings. We're just going to start the half. Nagby, back to Lasso. Ball forward from Atlanta. Oh, just wide. Dangerous free kick on that one. Corner kick TFC. We kind of would like an insurance goal here. Osorio whips it in. Oh, it bobbles around, and they give away another corner. We do want a second goal. It's a bit too precarious of a position to only be 1-0 up. 60 minutes gone. Pozuelo picks up the corner. Osorio back in the box. Akinola's there, and it's 2-0. Nice poacher's goal there from Ayo Akinola. Does what he does best. And a good finish and we're 2-0 up here's the corner back in the box Azorio races after it or sorry Pozuelo Azorio with the cross and Akinola pinpoint cross right on Akinola's head he just has to stand there and direct it that's what you want from your strikers you want your midfielders just to pinpoint it right at their heads and they don't have to move and they just head it bottom corner free kick Atlanta Martinez, ball in, it's a bobbled around. I knew they were going to score eventually. Latif gets the goal, it's 2-1. I'm glad we got that second goal and we did. It would have been a lot more precarious if we did not. We're going to switch to cautious, I think. I think we should be cautious. I might adjust the rolls as well. Just in case, maybe just one more support player here from Aro. Throw in here, boys guard, Bray. Loses out to Martinez, but gets it back. Pozuelo to Del Priore. We just want to play calm, controlled football at the moment. Ooh, good pass. Boys guard with the shot. Yarbrough with the save, and we get a corner kick. Just keep it calm, boys. Keep it calm. We don't want any chaos going on here. Headed away. Martinez clears. All right. 77 minutes gone. Jonathan Osorio is getting pretty tired. So he's going to come off for Hundal. And we'll switch Hundal and Akinola around. That false nine seems to be working okay at the moment. I also might change Aro and bring on Mr. Larea. And we'll leave that. Well, one more sub we'll leave until the end. Boys guard with the cross. Atlanta clears, but only as far as Pozuelo. Del Priore. Larea. Del Priore. Through ball again. Larea on the right. Cuts it back, though. Ball through again. Akinola cross. Boys guard. 3 1. And we're cruising. 10 minutes to go, roughly, and it is 3-1 in the East Conference semifinal. This is going to put us into the MLS Cup final again for the third year running. Ball through Akinola with a beautiful cross, and Boys Guard is there, finishing at the far post for a tap-in, basically. All right. We'll make one more substitution before the end. Here's a throw in. Bray, Wolfenden, back to the keep. Wolfenden again. Bono, 
through ball to Pozuelo to Larea. Inside to Del Friore, and we're just passing it around, playing keep away at the moment. I think I'm going to make a substitution now because we just need to get this game over with. Who can we bring on? Let's bring on Rocco. Although the midfield is a little bit tired. So maybe Frazier for Del Fiore. Switch these two. And we'll, that'll be it for the game. Akinola now attacking. Inside to Lurea. Ball in. Boys guard. Can you get another? Brizendine. Block. Cleared. Alvarez picks it up. Martinez. Yarbrough kicks off. Playing it out of the back, Atlanta. Martinez. Gonzalo Martinez. Dribbling through. Taking on a couple defenders here. Gressel out on the wide right. Open. Cross in and Alvarez heads home and it's 3-2. to two. They, they don't really deserve to lose by two goals. We're going to have to go a little bit more defensive to finish this off. Too nervy for my liking. But this should do it. Oh, Martinez in the last second and Bono saves. Alvarez picks it up. And a foul by Atlanta. And hopefully this will be it. Imagine we conceded two goals at the end. That would have been ridiculous. On a free kick like that. And the goal that they just scored. But we get through. Three to two. Great stuff. I think we'll say well done to the team. And we're through to the final. Domination. I got a domination badge. I don't know what that means. But we're in the final against Minnesota United. So five stripes of breast just side. Uh, another Eastern Conference championship for us. Another trophy. There it is. Four years in a row. Five in six years for Toronto FC. We didn't win this one, but we won these four. I think. Or maybe these three. Sorry, these three. How many seasons have we been playing? <laughs> and here's our medals. Pretty much everybody gets a medal, which is nice. Osorio. Good performance, sir. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, and we played Minnesota United for the MLS Cup. Can we get another MLS Cup to go with our two other trophies? So far, it should have been three, but it's only two. Supporter Shield, an Eastern Conference. And we've got Minnesota in the MLS Cup final coming up next. How exciting. Very fun. Oh, well, it looks like Boys Guard wants a new contract. Is this Arrow telling me? I don't really want to negotiate with him right now because he's got a year left. So let's see. Let's see. Absolutely. Focus on your performances, Quinton. But he's unable to resolve it. All right. Do we need to offer him a new deal? What are we looking at here? Regular starter. Sure. Ooh, my dear Lord. Okay, so he's on a senior deal. We can't exceed match maximum length. It's it's non-negotiable. That's a strange one. Uh, we can't do senior contracts. Why? Why is that? Uh, da, 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 da. What's he on right now? I'm curious. Where is he? Contract info. He's on 468 per year. He wants 1.3 million. That's a lot. I don't think we can get that, good sir. No way. He needs to be on a designated contract if we want to do that. Yeah, we won't be able to do that. Sorry, Quentin. We can't do that right now. Maybe he's a trade candidate if I can't uh, re-sign him. I mean, he was a decent pickup from Europe, but I'm pretty sure we could find another player similar to him 
that's on less money if he wants that much money. All right, we are here for the MLS Cup final against Minnesota United. So this is the lineup. Io Akinola, false nine with Quinton Boisgard, Luis Brizendine, and Jonathan Osorio behind him. Alejandro Pozuelo and Matias Del Piore in the middle with Patrick Bray, Luke Wolfenden, Rafael Tier, and Auro on defense with Alex Bono in net. Captain for Minnesota, Ike Opara. Best player, Angelo Rodriguez. Top goal scorer and most assists. Highest average rate. He looks good. Savarino as well. Most assists. Tied with him. With nine. So we should probably watch out for those guys. Savarino on the right and Rodriguez up top. Let's go into the dressing room. And we'll give these guys... Pick up where you left off last time out absolutely every time. Let's look at these opposition instructions for a second. So we're going to mark out Rodriguez and close him down. And we're going to close down Savarino and show him onto his weaker foot if he has one. Let's go to the tunnel interview. It's not the best weather today. How do you think the conditions will affect your performance? We can adapt. We're used to the cold weather in Toronto. Let's do this MLS Cup final. Can we get another one? Another trophy. Can we do the treble? Eastern Conference, Supporter Shield, and MLS Cup. Let's see if we can. Minnesota kickoff. And what can we do? Throw in here. Auro into Brizendine. He beats his man. He's coming to the box. Shoots. Ooh. Did the goalkeeper get a touch? He did. I think it's a corner. That was just wide. Could have been a goal right away on seven minutes. Zorio with the corner. Tierra is there, but he heads it over. Good start from us. Forward again on the left. Patrick Bray back in to Pozuelo. Brizendine picks it up. He's in a bit of space, driving towards the net. Tackled, but Boysgard picks it up. Is he going to shoot? Ooh, tipped wide by Horvath. And I think that's another corner for TFC. Osorio on the corner, whips it in. Cleared by Paz, but only as far as Del Priori, but a blocked shot and another clearance. We start again from the back. Bono to Tier. On the right to Aro. Driving down into space. Beats his man into the box. Akinola's there, but it's blocked. And Azorio tries to shoot, but it's wide. Serrano kicks off from deep in their own half, Minnesota. Paz to Opara. Long ball forward, only to Wolfenden, though, and they give away possession. We go back the other way. Boys guard driving inside. He's going to try to get a shot away, but it's a weak shot, and Horvath collects. Serrano with the throw. Schmelzer. Serrano. Inside to Paz again. The central defenders. Opara. All the way back to the keeper for Minnesota, playing pretty conservative at the moment. Ball forward again. We intercept Akinola. Tries a through ball, but gives it away. Cascardo and Fernandez for Minnesota. Oh, intercepted by Boysgard, and he's on the run. Tries to shoot, but is blocked by the defender. Good defending there. I think it was Paz. And it's a nil-nil at halftime. 14-2 in shot, 66% possession for us. And uh, we're playing well so far. Let's go. Prove a point. That's what we want to see. The media have been giving you lots of credit. Go out and prove a point. Let's start this second half on the right foot. Come on. We needed some sort of offense going here. I haven't seen a lot of real solid chances in this one. A few over the bar. But Boys Guard's driving in now. He shoots and it's collected by Horvath, but a good shot. Should have probably scored on that one. Paz. Minnesota play it out. Serrano on the left. Russell coming through the midfield. Cosendry all the way out to Ser Severino on the right. He's the danger man. He gets a cross in. Knocked down for Russell. Aro clears. Osorio heads clear. Throwing again. Boys guard. Patrick Bray on the left. Boys guard. Crosses into the middle. Del Priore. To Brizendine, passing it around. Out on the right to Aro. Cuts into the box. He tries a shot, but it hits the side netting. Fernandez now for Minnesota. 
Opara. Paz. Driving forward. Long ball forward, but gives it away to Aro. Wasteful pass. Pozuelo now. Out wide to Boysgar on the left, who cuts into the middle. He shoots from distance, and it's over. Tried to go for that goal he had the other day. Pozuelo's been booked. We'll ease him off the tackles. Del Priori heads it down. Akinola picks up at the top of the area, but he gives it away. Headed down again by Wolfenden. Patrick Bray, boys guard. Inside. Boys guard loves to cut inside, and he shoots wide again. Not a lot of accurate shooting for boys guard in this one. It's affecting his rating. Patrick Bray now with the throw. Prison Dean. Bray. Boys guard again. Del Priori. Pozuelo. Through ball to Patrick Bray. Doesn't quite get across. And Boys guard's in space. He shoots and it's saved. Amazing save by Horvath. And a corner kick for Toronto. Azorio. Whips it in. We'll collect it by the keeper. We are definitely getting a lot of shots away, but we are not getting quality shots. Raphael Thier to Aro. Dribbling down the right. He beats his man. He's in lots of space now, but the defender catches up to him. Inside to Azorio. Akinola tries to get a shot. Boys guard scores. He was in the right place at the right time and puts us up 1-0. In the final, 20 minutes to go in this one, just about. And we go up 1-0 finally from Quentin Boysgaard. Just on the edge of the defenders there. Falls to him, and he hits it sweetly. Top corner, and we are 1-0. Assist from Akinola on that one. Throw in here, Minnesota. Back to Paz on defense. Back to Fernandez. Opara. Forward to Segura. Fernandez. Passing it around in midfield. They go out to the left. Baji crosses inside, but Wolfen intercepts. And we go the other way. Azorio is countering now. He's got Akinola with him. Is he going to shoot? He does. There it is. But it's cleared. And it's out for a throw on the left. Wolfen with the throw. Brizendine. Cutting inside, but he loses out. But Del Priori collects Pozuelo. Osorio. Brizendine. Akinola's there. Can he shoot? He tries again, and it hits the post. Patrick Bray heads down. Cascardo throws in for Minnesota. Segura. Beats his defender. Crosses in at the near post. And Bono collects. Gratefully clutches the ball to his chest. 10 minutes to go. We're going to go cautious. We are going to look at the tactics here. Who is tired? Azorio. Pretty much only Azorio. So we'll bring on Hundal again. And we'll do our switch for Akinola. And we're going to put Auro on support. Switching to our cautious approach. Um... Out of possession. I think that's okay. Just looking at... We're still fairly fit, so the pressing should be okay. Just change the mentality a little bit. Oh, man. Serrano wants to be closed down, so we're going to do that. Smeltzer cutting into the box now. Aura with the tackle. Baji is there. He picks it up. Inside to Rodriguez. There's Cosendry. And it's saved by Bono again. Right. 84 minutes gone. Is there any more substitutions we can make? I'm thinking on defense, possibly. Not much options, really. We don't really have a left back on the bench. I feel like the team is playing well. We don't even need to make substitutions. Okay. Breakout again. Pozuelo. Ball forward to Boysgard. In the box now. Beats his man. He shoots from distance. Horvath knocks it down. It's another corner. 87 minutes gone. 1-0. MLS Cup final. Can we hold on? Auro with the corner. 
taking his time. Ball in. Headed away. Pozuelo collects. Back inside the boys guard. Pozuelo. All the way out to Aro. To Wolfenden. And that's it. 89 minutes. Four minutes of added time coming up. Brizendine. But they lose out. Minnesota on the counter. Ooh, good interception by Patrick Bray. And we go the other way. We are countering now. Boys guard on his horse. Can he shoot? He does. He scores. It's 2 nil, And we are going to be the MLS Cup champions again. We've done it. We <laughs> What a season this has been. Except for the damn Canadian championship. We could have had everything. Except for away goals against the impact. We've won everything else nearly. Didn't win the League's Cup as well, but we won it last season. Amazing. 2-0. Maybe we'll, we'll make these final two substitutions. Just bringing on whoever. Boys guard with two goals. Amazing performance from him. He deserves a new contract if we can afford him. I just hope we can afford him, really. We'll bring on uh, Larea for Auro. And who gets a cameo? Who's going to get a cameo here? Liam Frazier, uh, Chris Williams, maybe Frazier for Del Priore. And that'll do it, right? Was that both? It was, right? Yeah. 94 minutes, last kick of the game. Ball forward. Akinola. Pozuelo. Is he going to blow the whistle? It's full time, and we've won again. The MLS Cup. We don't get the celebration trophy thing. Come on. We won it again. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Great. Oh, we are the champions again. Unstoppable force. Iron curtain badge. I don't know what the, either of those mean, but we've got our fourth trophy. Great. Amazing stuff. Quality possession. Bob Bradley's upset. We get 263,000. That's all you get for winning the MLS Cup, apparently. Another win for TFC. Our reputation, I think, has gone up a little bit there. Uh, we're The board is pleased with me. We've clinched the MLS Cup. Uh, we're keen to impress that celebrations are kept to a minimum in order that the club may focus fully on future challenges. Look at that, though. Three years in a row. Or wait, three. I don't, what does that mean? 21 21. I guess maybe that's our Eastern Conference thing. But three trophies in a row. That's fun. Medals are out. Boys guard with a man of the match. Amazing performance, sir. He deserves that. Robin Frazier scouting Ioaki Nola. Interesting. MLS Generation Adidas graduates coming up. A few players. Um, nobody on TFC, but a few of these guys just they become uh, graduates. I don't know what that means. Maybe they get senior contracts after that. A few guys graduate. Uh, and that is it. Wow. Let's go to the press conference. LA Galaxy. Robin Frazier was spotted. Ain't no way Ioaki Nolans go. No way. No way. Let's see. How do how do I react to his declaration of interest? Um, he can talk all he wants, really, but he's not for sale. Good relationship. Um, do that. Does it help to have a good relationship? Not really. It's business, you know. Everyone. Uh, I don't really consider it that way. The supporters have responded well to consistency and giving opportunities to youngsters. Absolutely. We. I always look to bring in the youth. Uh, what impact do you think lifting the trophy will have an arrow in the coming weeks? Very good. Like, it's amazing for the whole team. So we'll go forward, see what happens on the next turn. Record low defeats, four losses for the whole season. Look at that. Look at that season. Great season. One loss here, March, and then we didn't lose until June to San Jose and we didn't lose again until League's Cup quarterfinal against America and and a couple losses a few losses there a little bit of a rough patch 
And that's what cost us the Canadian Championship, really. That little stretch. And then we just won out and won the MLS Cup. Amazing. I want that Canadian Championship so bad. I just want to come back and play that competition. Just let me play that, you know? It's going to be our last chance to get in the Champions League. That's the last thing to win now. We won the Campionas Cup. We've won the Supporter Shield. We've won the Eastern Conference Final. We won the MLS Cup. We've won the League's Cup last season. Canadian Championship is what we want. And the CONCACAF Champions League. If we can't do it in MLS, I'm going to Mexico. That's what's going on. Anyways, so thank you again for watching. My name is John. This is Red Redemption, Toronto FC in MLS. Next, next episode will be the transfer special. So remember to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you want more content, and uh, put a comment. I'd love to talk to whoever is watching my videos. Comment in there, and I will respond. So thanks again for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time. Peace.